Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. I'm in my kitchen and it's extremely quiet in here. I know you guys are looking at my kitchen and are probably gonna say, Red Panda, your kitchen is very clean. And let me tell you, it was not clean, I would say about two hours ago. It took me two hours to clean this whole kitchen just for you guys, just for this video, as I'm wanting to test the decibel rating on this gold shell hs light and before we begin thank you for today's video sponsor crypto miner bros.com if you'd like to see which ones are available they actually have a specific tab on their website called available machines and you guys can see they have a lot of different asic miners here for sale and if you guys are interested please use coupon code red panda for 50 dollars off and look at this they have the gold shell HS Lite, which we're going to talk about right now, my friends. So let's go. Gold Chow claims that this is very quiet because of the fans, right? These aren't your typical, you know, S19J, huge, bigger Delta fans. And so definitely the fans are a lot quieter, but I'm actually wanting to see that. And so I decided, hey, why not make a video in my kitchen? This is totally different place I've never done before. And I might as well have some fun with it because this Gold Shell HS Lite would be great for other locations, not only the kitchen, but maybe like a living room or someone's bedroom because the power consumption on this Gold Shell HS Lite is about 700 or 800 watts mining Sia coin. And then for Handshake, it takes about 1250 watts. So in my kitchen here, I just want to explain real quick just the temperature right now, it's about 80 Fahrenheit, or for my Canadian friends, it's 26 degrees Celsius. So it's not, it's not too bad in here. And so if I were to keep my Gold Shell HS Lite in here, it would, it would add a little bit of heat, which is okay, but I do have some windows to let some air in and air it out if, if it got too hot in here. But anyways, the biggest thing is that I wanted to explain my power situation in my kitchen here. So it's, it's pretty good. I got three 20 amp, 120 volt circuits all right so each one i got one here with my hot water pot and rice cooker and this this hot water pot takes about almost a thousand watts according to the back and about 450 watts for my rice cooker and so this plug right here alone this is a single 20 amp 120 volt circuit it's got like the test reset button we'll go to my circuit panel downstairs i'll show you guys what i mean but then there's another one right here okay and i have my air fryer attached to it man my kitchen is is extremely clean i just wanted to take note of this because it's <laughs> I, it took a good guys it, it took about two hours to clean my kitchen here it's it's very clean anyways my air fryer my ninja air fryer this thing is awesome by the way takes about 1550 watts at 120 volt that is a lot of power. That is definitely a lot of power. And so that's why I have it by itself on its own plug, its own circuit. And then I have another circuit that's over here with my, just my oven. I don't know how many watts this Black & Decker, I'm, I'm assuming it's over 1200, 1500 watts as well. And so there's a plug uh, right there on its own as well. So yeah, I'm just this kitchen. It's, it's quite baller in terms of the, uh, the circuits that I that I can use in here and so this gold shell HS light would be perfect and I just wanted to take a moment here just just to be silent like do you guys hear anything actually I think I hear my fridge so that's really the only audible thing like you guys aren't hearing any loud fan noises or anything normally in my videos octominer fans or just regular fans and my GPUs it's very quiet in here. I want to quickly show you guys my circuit panel. So I have right here, kitchen plugs, 18, 16, and 14. And that's gonna be right here. All right, 18, 16, and 14. These 20 amp, 120 volt breakers are all for my kitchen plugs. I have those three different ones I already showed you guys. And so that is, a good amount so if you do the math 120 times 20 amps that's a good 2400 watts but then the 80 percent rule you know about 2000 watts or so so i don't want to go anything past i don't know 1800 watts on these breakers because yeah you want to stay within the 80 percent rule of it especially for my kitchen stuff so 
That's all well and good. So I just realized if I couple my HS light with my air fryer, which is 1500 watts, plus if I'm mining Sia coin, it'll be another 700, 800 watts. I'm gonna be over the 80% rule on this 20 amp, 120 volt circuit. So I better move this to, I would say here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid, not get rid, I'm gonna move my 450 watt rice cooker to this side, right? That should be around the 80% rule combined with the Ninja. And then I'll move the HS light to here. And that'll be also close to my window in case I need to open it and air it out for heat. Yeah, let's do that. As this is a thousand watts and then 700 watts, about 1800 watts together with my water boiler. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, let me move my HS light to over here and then we'll power it on. Okay, moved it over. Rice cooker's over there, so we should be fine. All right, so I want to explain now the power cabling. In case anyone's wondering regarding this HS light that especially uses this C20 cable, C20 port. And so I have from infinitecables.com a C19 to C14 adapter. Then to plug it in into a 120 volt outlet like this, right? Typical North American plug. I have a regular computer cable which goes from a C uh, this is a C13 to a NEMA plug, okay? So I'm gonna be plugging this end into here, and you know what, let's just, let's just do it right now. And we're gonna just turn it on, All right? And then I'm gonna plug this C19 end into here. And then, we're gonna plug it in the wall, over here. And I'm gonna explain the network here in a sec. As, uh, so I'm not going to turn it on in a sec, but the power is now plugged in. And uh, you guys can probably see this thing right here. This is a power line to Ethernet, uh, power line adapter, right? So that I can get e internet over the power. But since my Wi-Fi router is actually very close by, it's literally like 5 feet, 10 feet that way, it's really close. And so I'm actually wanting to try to see if this will work with Wi-Fi. As I tried to do it at my... Uh, basement location, but the Wi-Fi was was it was just too spotty there and it didn't work through Wi-Fi But I'm gonna see if it works here. So guys, let's go ahead and turn it on and Let's just hear how loud This thing makes in terms of noise So far it's It's very quiet Okay, it's ramping up now a little bit Can you guys hear that? It is ramping up. Okay, it's getting a little louder. Oh. Now it died down. Okay. So I already connected it to the Wi-Fi. I already programmed it to connect to my Wi-Fi uh, when I had my uh, Ethernet plugged in, uh, in, my, in my garage. And so, guys, give me a sec, I'm gonna let this go on, and let me just see if I can see this in the computer through the web GUI. Be right back. Okay, I believe it's mining, and I can see it on the website, or when I connect to it. Let me just hit F5 on the keyboard, and see if it comes up. Yeah, it comes up. So, it is mining wirelessly, which is great, so that means I, uh, let's see here, it's been on for 14 minutes. Yeah, so that is good. I don't need to use the power line adapter so I can plug in the ethernet. I don't need it because my Wi-Fi is close enough. And I, I explained before that when I did Wi-Fi on this before, it was quite far. So I think that's why I didn't connect that well. I was going on and off, maybe like 20 feet away. I mean, that's not that bad, but this I'm like less than 10 feet away from the Wi-Fi router. So that's really good. Anyways, guys, the whole point of this video really is to see the decimal rating of, of what this HS light does. So let me just be quiet for a sec. So it's about 50 decibels for the fans. And I can hear my Discord going. Now if I bring this, let's say over here, 44 decibels. 
over here, 52, 53 decibels. So this thing, it's really not, it's really not loud. 42, 41, if I go over here, thirty nine forty decibels over here so that's really quiet <laughs> it's I can hear it like I can audibly hear it when I stand over here but it's like it's just like a hum like similar to the fridge so it's not it's not loud it, this thing is extremely quiet I'm mining sea coin it is pumping a decent amount of heat but that's it guys. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna be mining in my kitchen, which is pretty funny. I, you know what? I just thought of, since I have three 20 amp, 120 volt plugs in here, if I did the math, that's like about almost, I think 2,000, oh no, sorry, 6,000 watts combined. I could have mining rigs all over my kitchen here. I could take out my oven, take out my air fryer, rice cooker, hot water, and just put mining rigs all over my kitchen. Do you guys want to see that video? Let, let me know. I put mining rigs on the floor, everywhere. Just who needs a kitchen? Who needs a kitchen when you can have mining rigs all over that make more money and then I can spend that money on food. I can just buy food, like skip the dishes or something every day. Wouldn't that be sweet? Assuming though the $6,000 worth of mining rigs would make enough money to hmm, feed me and my family. And I'm not sure my wife would like that. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Well, let me know what you think. And this was pretty fun. So anyways, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. And peace out.